your march 2023 astrology horoscope forecast welcome to a month of fireworks it's a month which may be one of the most important months of the year this is a month where there are a lot of major planetary shifts that are happening i'm going to be speaking in detail so do please have the patience and watch the video till the end I'm going to be talking as to how specific planets are going to be affecting your personal life, your romantic life, your career, your money and your children and your health. So Aries, uh, happy birthday. First of all, uh, your ruling planet Mars has gone direct. So as soon as we start this month, this month is all about go, go, go. And on the third, we have Mercury that is joining Neptune and Sun and it's joining a part of your chart which is all about uh, going deeper inside. It's looking at your um, psychological patterns, it's looking at things that trouble you, it speaks about those times when maybe you have woken up in the middle of the night with concern, with worry, maybe with a sense of regret. And this is a house where we often go to, where we want to recharge our emotional battery. So even though the month is opening on a quite a contemplative note, it's a time where it is you need to be stepping back. You need to be um, realigning your energies. You need to be centering yourself. You need to be conserving your energy. Also, and this is not really in a bad way. So don't get scared and think that, oh, something horrible is going to be happening. This is almost a time wherein that you're sort of, uh, you know, putting yourself together. You're looking at your patterns. You're looking at things that have come together before you really spread your wings and before you really fly off. So um, look at this time to do like a pro and a con a list. Look at things that worked. Look at things that did not work. Uh, patterns. Look at uh, maybe you could get a clue from your parents. Maybe see if there are these undefined fears that you have. Maybe there is this um, sense of responsibility which weighs you down but nobody has asked you to sort of carry the weight on your shoulder. Uh, also uh, be as conscious as possible during this month. You know, Try and stay calm while there's a lot of chaos that is happening around you. On the 7th, we have a full moon and this is there in your house of day-to-day -day chores. This is a house of your health. So um, full moons in any case, they're, they're very emotional. They bring something to an end. But in some cases, it can be a sense of victory. You know, you have literally sort of maybe some of you have shed a lot of weight. You're feeling stronger. You're feeling better. There is a sense of uh, achievement that is there. Uh, so it's a time to be patting your back. For a lot of you, it can be that a health scare has got finished that, uh, you know, maybe you were uh, worried about or you were told that, you know, uh, there is something, you know, to be worried about health wise and that sort of uh, comes to an end. Uh, it's also a time wherein that you need to be looking at your day-to-day -day, uh, schedules, Aries. It's a good time to be uh, getting more disciplined. It's a good time to be starting things that you may have sort of left in uh, between. Um, at times, it can be uh, an indicator that your workplace could be changing. For some of you, you could be finishing a project for, and for others, it could be a time that you could simply be moving to a different workplace. Um, on the 8th, we have Saturn and uh, this, as promised, is the month where the powerful Saturn is moving signs. We have Pluto that is shifting and uh, of course your ruling uh, planet Mars uh, has gone direct and we also have Venus that is moving. So Saturn is going to be moving into, uh, again, uh, a part of your chart that has to do with behind the scenes. This is a house which um, is not a very visible a house in the sense that you know this is the stuff that we uh, do which no one sees it could be uh, clandestine affairs it could be uh, addictions obsessions uh, it also speaks about our own family tree compulsions that we inherit from our parents it could also be um, you know a, a, a certain maybe a toxic cycle that is getting repeated in the family now, this of course is the part which we need to be wary about. 
the good part about Saturn being in this house is that this is a time where it's wonderful for researching. It's wonderful for understanding more in depth about who we are, where it is that we come from. And it's an extremely transformative energy. You can uh, look at patterns. Uh, you know, which you maybe see around with your siblings, you see with your parents and these are the things that you can bring about change in yourself. It can also be that uh, this is a time that, you know, you become um, deeply drawn towards spirituality, you become deeply drawn towards charity causes or even meditation. A lot of you would want to do a lot of internal work, which is fabulous. On the 17th, we have Venus and Venus is joining Uranus in a part of your house and is about earned income. Now, this is where the fun begins. Uranus, as we all know, it's an extremely unpredictable energy and Venus, of course, is all about love and beauty and also money. And your earned income is going to get enhanced, uh, Aries. For a lot of you, it can be that, you know, you are either working with people who are very eclectic, who are very unusual, who have the, uh, you could almost call them eccentric and uh, also the money that is being made and this is your own earned income that means that you're working somewhere it's a job that you're doing it's out of your own hard work is to uh, it's about how much is it that you're putting over there so it speaks about innovation what new innovation what new technology are you adopting and if you're not then Aries this is a fabulous time to be introducing some newer ways of doing things maybe the same old things maybe there's a new vertical that has got uh, started or created or needs to get created maybe there's a new technology that needs to get introduced and maybe you are the one who's uh, leading the way and who's showing the way and uh, insisting that this is how you know work can be more productive if we uh, introduce this uh, technology and hence create more revenue create more wealth for us and for others on the 20th we have mercury that moves into your own house and on the 21st we have sun so yay wonderful your birthday time and also we have a new moon over there so this is something this is something which is really really huge we have three planets that are um, there and which are you know, they're going to be quickening your mind. They're going to be making you think of more solutions. It's going to be making you think about more ideas, about ways to do things, adopt new technology, new ways of communicating, having conversations. And also it, it could be a time also where you will have a, a tough time not giving advice to others. It would seem that you have literally have a solution for everything. You would be literally be telling everybody oh this is how you can do it or maybe this is how you need to be doing it so try and also show, uh, ensure that you know while it's fabulous to be having all the answers with you uh, Aries try and not step on toes uh, during this phase as well on the 24th we have the biggie we have Pluto that is going to be moving into your um, house of uh, groups of friends and this is where Pluto is going to be there for the next 20 years. Now, Pluto initially is going to be just going, be going and having a little peak, giving you a taster for three months. It'll be there and uh, it'll give you a sense of what is there, you know, uh, is going to follow with Pluto being over there. And Pluto, of course, in this house, it's about your entire groups of your people you know your tribe that goes and undergoes a transformation maybe you come across with people who are really um, you know um, way up in their career are people who are very powerful and these are the people that you come in uh, contact with and these can be very transformative uh, friendships as well for you and also it can be that this is a time also where you will break some old friendships uh, it is you will let go maybe of a certain old group a certain old friendship which you feel is adding no value to your life and you're going to be moving on to this uh, you know um, groups of people or tribe of people with whom you connect with more uh, and your ideals are more likely to change during this uh, Pluto transit as well and uh, it, it's it'll be very clear that uh, you know the people around you will reflect as to who it is that you are you're going to be uh, quite I would say quite selective about 
wanting to hang around with a specific set of people you know so and there would be no qualms about letting go of old friendships because uh, there's just going to be a sense of an old baggage and you don't want to uh, deal with it anymore and on the other hand you could also during this time meet with somebody who could work as a uh, you know be as a guide as a mentor in your life somebody who can uh, you know set you on or put you on in a right direction so you can grow now both these planets saturn is going to be there for about uh, 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 close to 3 years and um, uh, pluto is going to be there for 20 years so both the planets because they are slow moving they're going to be having a deeper effect on your life they're going to be having an effect on the decisions that you make on the kind of person that you are becoming and also the transformation that you are sort of forced to uh, undertake aries for a lot of you there's going to be a sense of uh, you know uh, i'm fine the way that i am uh, that is the case with most of us but the plutonian energy is very potent and it may not uh, the changes may not happen instantly it's like uh, uh, you know wearing a new pair of shoes that immediately we do feel the pinch initially it's slightly uncomfortable so you will feel the transitional energy even for those of you who do not follow astrology you are going to be feeling the plutonian shift or of energy when it happens that you know there is maybe more heightened sensitivity maybe because it's in your groups of friends or things or people with whom you relate with maybe there's going to be more the sense of i want to do away with this or i do not want this anymore wanting to take a decision wanting to take an action maybe that will get heightened for some of you so that is a time that uh, you know there, there is going to be almost this unconscious need to or uh, push things to a conclusion and uh, uh, by the time of course pluto settles into place you know you will get used to the plutonian energy of um you know change will sort of become constant for you but initially there could be the sense of feeling uncomfortable or feeling too intense or even overwhelmed uh, at times and this is not just for you aries uh, this is for all of us of course it depends as to where pluto is aspecting for the rest of the zodiacs in the sign end of the month we have mars that is moving into your house of home so for a lot of you they it speaks about some amount of renovation some amount of maybe there is some renting leasing buying maybe you're looking at um buying a house moving a house it can also be that you are making space for a parent to come and stay um but in most cases it can also be that home at times gets to be quite chaotic and quite combative you know that you could um maybe it's the home staff uh, you know that you could be feeling uh, quite at logger heads with and this is a time where you could be thinking about making a, a complete change to your place of home because this house also rules cancer uh, that's the moon and it governs your mother it could be that you know um either there could be some conversations uh, around your mother's health maybe there is something that you would or even as far as your family history is concerned maybe there is something that you know you could be having these long deep discussions uh, with her as well overall a fabulous start to a transformative uh, month aries uh, ensure that beginning of the month you are able to conserve as much as energy as possible try and stay center try and stay calm and let the environment around you sort of move and settle at its own pace it's been a pleasure speaking with you aries i'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching